friend. You're listening to the Jasmine Star and Today JD Show. Today, my husband JD is on the podcast with me for our very first Ask Us Anything episode. This might be our first and last. Who am I kidding? But all of the questions we'll be answering today were sourced from the social curator community, and neither of us have seen any of them, which makes me a little nervous. Are you ready to dive in? I'm ready. Okay, I'm a little so, nervous. Let's do this. Okay, they're into a couple categories. We have business, we have uh, parenthood, we have relationship, and we have for JD only. Oh, man. I'll we'll save those for last. <laughs> no. no save no. the best for last. <laughs> Just because you said that, I think we should start there. Yeah, all right. Let's do it then. Yeah, okay. actually, you know what? Let's do that then. Okay, let's for get... the for JD? Yeah, Yeah, well. I uh, think so too. Let's, let's go to the Let's give everybody stuff. what they want in the beginning. <laughs> okay. Keep them, keep okay, them we need to stop. Okay. Um, Amy kidding. Jill Pazer. Jasmine always says she's an introvert. What is she really like off camera, JD? Still bubbly, more relaxed, locked away. Tell us. Oh man, no, 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 no. Bubbly, yes, but no. She's a she's a watcher, <laughs> waiter, thinker, and then she'll take a move or two. She usually pushes me in front of a crowd. Oh and yeah. Says, go see what's going on. Oh totally, <laughs> totally. Yeah, no. Jasmine's definitely an introvert. Um, but you know, I feel like it's what makes her so powerful. I think and beautiful because online. On social media, she's out there and she's, you know, she's in it every single day being social. In her personal life, she prefers reading (laughs) a book. I'm (laughs) anti-social. You know, she socializes with her books. And and I think it's just, it's such a good balance because it's where she gets to rest and her mind gets to kind of breathe. So one thing too is like how this actually looks in real life. If JD and I are traveling, I'll say, JD, can you go and ask? Or JD, I think you should be in line. Or we're sitting on a, next to each other on a plane. I'm like, JD, can you ask the... And he's like, Jazz, you could totally ask for what you want. <laughs> like, I, I, you know, just like, oh, oh that hey, was a door slamming. Door. Yeah, there you go. There's some nice ambient noise there. Hey, it's real life, It's right? real life. Diane Wingert asks, this one's for JD. JD, you're quite popular with the ladies. Mm, right. <laughs> what are the challenges of being married to a passionate, driven, and ambitious woman? Ooh. Uh, <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, the toughest thing is definitely work-life balance. Like we had this thing where we we always try to shut everything down by uh, six six o'clock six thirty. Now you don't have to ask me twice. I'm I'm out the door at four. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm not working at past four. But with Jasmine, you know, it's something that we've always set. But it's a constant. It's a daily reminder. It's not like one day she just oh I shut my computer easily every day at six. It's like no. It's it's more like. Um, you know, when the time starts getting closer to six and, and, you know, she's still barely jumping onto a project, you always have to remind her like, hey, you know, let's try to finish it by six and, or in 630. I feel like those little things, I know it kind of sounds like I'm being this overbearing partner, but at the end of the day, it's like it's the best way for us to do the things that I know truly matter to us, if which you is didn't ask spending me, time. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I cut you off. That's what we do, too. Yeah. I liked it. I liked it. And so it was very nice. But like, w- if you had to guess, if you weren't reminding me to get off the computer. What time w- would you get off? Yeah. What time would I? What do you think? I have a number in my head. I I'm not sure. I think you would get off at 839 every day. Yeah. I, I honestly believe it. I think that you do it right. You know, you, you take 25, 35 minutes to decompress right before bed and then go to hit, hit, <laughs> hit the bed by 930, 10 every night. That's what you would be doing. But you know what? There, um, it's crazy because it's not like you would be. You'd actually be really happy doing that. I would. I like I, working. I, think you like, I really you like, like it. it. It's not like yeah. you're there like, oh my gosh, I have to work until 10. No, no. you actually want to be working. So, you know, it's, it's, the, it, it's that balance for you that's really tough. But that's why I think I have to remind you all the time. But I know that you really enjoy I our do. walks with our daughter and, do. and our dog and dinner. I do. So. I do. Like the life that I want, like when we took the time to define what success is, it was, it was that. It was the being able to love what I do, but also being able to love the time that we have like with yeah. us. Like that's the thing that yeah. matters most. And sometimes I just need to get yeah. all, actually all the time I need to get a reminder. Yeah. I feel, okay. So that's a big one. And then uh, if I can just add one more, maybe this one is the only one that you put into this podcast. But one of the biggest things that like, you know, living with such a passionate person is you always feel like you're unsettled. Like when, when we do a project, <laughs> we do it, we finish it. And then there's a next project coming up. Okay. So and it's like, like that with like everything, everything, when we move everything. into it, when we, we bought a new house, we're moving in and Jasmine's just, she's, she doesn't want to move out, but she's already thinking about where we're going to be in 10 years. I'm like, Whoa, let's yeah. just breathe and joy. But you know what? My mom and my, when my, my parent, mom and dad first met Jasmine, you know, a year in, they're like, 
does she ever relax? Like, does she ever take a break? And I remember thinking about that and thinking, am I never going to relax? Am I never going to take a break? Hey, you were warned by your parents when I you were 17 warned. years it's so old. so crazy. You know, it's like, I like your pace. I just know that I also realize I miss relaxing too. <laughs> I think this interview is so awkward for me right now yeah. because people are going to listen to like, he misses <laughs> relaxing. No, I do. Re- I, and you know, here's the thing. I take the weekends off, so I relax every weekend. <laughs> okay. You know what? I don't know if I want this podcast to go out into the interwebs. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. Um, okay. So, Mahila, this is the last of questions for JD. Okay. Okay. Make it a good uh, one. Maliha. Rickard asked, what advice do you give to other husbands? And what advice do you give to wives to be better business partners, owners, in order to help their husband or partners be more successful? Dang, that was deep. These are all pretty... These are deep, these are man. Deep. This one's... There's Why so isn't anybody things. asking us what we like to... Like, what movies we like? <laughs> like <laughs> what's our favorite taco? <laughs> like, Seriously. I, that, I, can, I can talk about that for days. Okay. This is a tough one because I feel like it's ever evolving, but I know that the one thing that got us out of the woods when we first started working together, the best thing is defining our roles in, in, in our personal lives and also in business. Most importantly, in business, we do not want to work on the same projects together. Jasmine and I, we work really well together. We, um, we are synergistic, but if you put us in the same, on the same project... Right. We, we just, we're hot we're messes. A two, we're a we're two-headed, messes. Yeah, yeah, it would be a two-headed dragon. Like, I would hate to see us in one of those, where do, where do, those races where, you, where, where we tie our oh, feet together. Oh, the three-legged together. race? Oh, my goodness. JD and I would, I would, we would be the, the first loser. I would loser. run to the right and you would run to the left. A hundred percent. And so, I would run faster than you. Yes. Because that's... And I would just carry you. <laughs> You're so, um, yeah, that d- clearly defined roles. Like yeah. that is the best advice we always give. I'm sure if you've listened to the podcast for a while, you've heard me say it on other podcasts that the reason why the relationship works is because we're not in each other's business. Yeah. We empower each other to do yeah. what we're each independently good at. Yeah, and husbands, what can you do for your wives? And and actually, I'm going to give the same advice for wives. What Massages can you do for your husbands. Cooking dinner, man. Yeah, get those get those hand muscles going because you're gonna. A lot no, of foot no, no, okay, no, okay. no. But the truth is um it's patience and i i feel like jasmine had so much patience with me when we first started our photography business and even our business business i'm a dreamer i'm a thinker i love to come up with ideas but the practical part like the actual get the doing piece i take a long time to get moving yeah and for me too i feel like i've had to have also a lot of patience in regards to jasmine like we, you know we're evolving so we're changing Every, I don't know, we're always changing. So just patience, I guess. Let me make it quick. <laughs> I'm being patient with thoughts. your patient patience. answer. Exactly. <laughs> there you go. Your first <laughs> lesson in patience. <laughs> okay. Uh, Angela Bartone asked, can you tell a story when you first started to work together? Mm. Ooh. You go for this one. You're a good spill storyteller. Spill the tea. We about to spill the tea. Okay, fine. Put, throw me under the bus. Give the give the um the the gas. No, I always say the gas station. story. Oh, I always do? say the gas story. Here's another story. If you want to know what the gas story is, maybe the, ask for it in a future episode by by DMing me at Jasmine Star. Okay. Another so, thing, like it's a gas, like it's it's, it's a, another it's, it's one it's, of those it's another right. power struggle conversation. Got it. Okay. Right. So it was a gas station, just FYI. Okay, <laughs> it was gas for the car, I didn't want not to be like, gas from gas like story? burritos. I want to know the gas story. I'm like, well, it's the gas station this is story. So, who's listening to this podcast? I want to know. I'm sorry in advance. If my mom is listening, she's gonna be like, it's not called farting. It's called fleeting. Um, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, so okay, okay. Let's, see. let's get back. Story. Focus on the task. There was um, when JD and I first started working together. Um, in photography, you have a first photographer and you have a second photographer. And the first photographer is the one who's basically leading the charge. And the second photographer will fall in line and do other tasks as asked. So JD and I are shooting an event together. And there's this one part that if you're a wedding photographer, you know, like this is like the worst part of being a wedding photographer. And it's called table shots where the bride and groom go to 800 tables and they fake smile and they clink glasses. And there's really not a photo to be taken, but they just expect the photo, knowing the bride and groom will never use it. It'll never go into a photo album, but for posterity's sake, it's there. So JD and I would always take turns doing this. But then on one particular wedding day, I was like, so as the first photographer, I'm going to ask you, the second photographer, to go and do table shots. And JD's like, no, 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 we take turns. And I was like, well, you see, as the first photographer, I'm actually rather busy right now. He's like, you're drinking water. Then I replied, very busy, drinking water, 
can you, oh, second photographer, please go and do the table shots? This, is, this isn't one of those, you know, 20 minute tasks. Like, you go, go take oh, photos. No. This is a three hour yeah. task. Right. Okay? <laughs> so so I'm, it's a three I'm, hour I'm, job. Like, <laughs> can you go and take the worst job we have here today? And yeah. JD... I actually will say that it was, and actually this is like a, a relationship lesson. If you, even if you're a first photographer, second photographer, business partners, or even life partners is in order to actually get through and get the change that you want. Initially it's best instead of disagreeing at the moment to succumb because he ended up doing, doing the table shots. And then on the car ride home, he was like, yeah, so I did those table shots and I just have to say that it's something we both don't like. And even if you're the first photographer and I'm the second photographer, it's worth noting we also go to bed together. And I was like, oh, touche, touche. Yeah, like, and that's when we had this conversation of, you know, I can't, I, he, as a husband, I expected a, can you please, like at least even a please. Oh, this is another a please thing. please and thank you. You know, Whereas, you, you know, know, you guys, but, this but, is, but that's yeah, a husband talking, right? Yes. A business you don't tell your boss like, "Can you please say please?" and "Can you say thank you?" When I, like you don't ask for those niceties, right? So it's like, how am I supposed to expect that in a working relationship? So that's a reckoning I had to come like to grips with because that was that was I think that was the harder the harder one for me. Yeah, because I'm all about being polite all the time. Oh, see, you know, and like, that's another thing. That's actually like let's like, fast even forward. if Jasmine wants a glass of co- a cup of exactly. coffee, it's like she exactly. can't just be like. Exactly. Uh, can you make coffee? It has okay. To be, uh, so this is another thing. <laughs> so, so in my mind, I grew I up like I, I, <laughs> I grew up that way. No, but see, he grew up totally different. I grew up that if you say, "Can I? Can I have a cup of coffee?" The, like the, the you're please, being polite. The please is implied. Right. That's in my you, yes, in my family, yes. that's implied. Like, of course, you're going to say please. And so, if I to, to this day, I'm like, "Can I have a cup? Co- can I have coffee?" JD's like, "Please, can I have coffee, please?" And I was like, <laughs> "Or I'll Bro, drop a cup of coffee I, and be like." Thank you. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the ever, the ever, the ever subtle yeah, right, clink yeah. of the glass on the table. You're welcome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh God, there you go. There you go. That's that's even better. I was like, oh, okay. Um, so I think when we talk about working together, it's all the, actually the small stuff. It's the minutia within the relationship that plays out in a professional capacity. Yeah. So it is important for me to express gratitude, especially. So hold on. Can I please say thank you? <laughs> Can I please? That's not, okay, that was off. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, no, seriously, without being cheesy, thank you. Yeah. Hey. I appreciate you even recording this podcast. You don't actually like being in front. And you actually don't like, you're doing something for me, very generous, and I want to say thank you. You're welcome. What came off of the audio was, I was literally on my knees, and I was like, can you please do this podcast? And and what did I say? I said, begging is not becoming on you. Get up. I said, get up. That is not He did. He did. He did. Okay, we have a few more minutes. We have a few more minutes. Okay. Um, This actually goes into parenthood. JD actually has to leave right now and take Luna to a doctor's appointment, so we are under the gun. Yeah. Taylor Weatherspoon. How are you doing as a mompreneur? Sometimes it doesn't it doesn't seem like work life balance exists. What have been your biggest challenges as parents running your business? Well, I feel like, I mean, okay. It, ahead, Here's the thing. So oftentimes in my DMs, it's like I feel like you can't ever be like the right kind of mom, and I don't think like you'd be the right kind of parent. I feel like whatever decisions we make, people always have opinions about it. Like, so for instance, I had casually mentioned on Instagram stories that Luna was feeling under the weather because of immunizations. And uh, lesson learned, don't talk about immunizations on social media because so many people said, you shouldn't be getting your immunized. Don't you know what shots are doing? This could be terrible. Are you doing your research? And the thing that I just don't have the ability to all the time is explain that we're in the adoption process. We are mandated by the state of California to immunize our daughter. We are not afforded the luxury of choosing that. The decision was made for us. So when we talk about like work-life balance, we talk about challenges. I think it's the same challenge as anybody else, but it's sometimes magnified because people have a lot of opinions about it. What about, what about I you? I agree. From that scope, yes, I completely agree with everything you said. I just think that life is a constant reset, you know? We weren't living our lives the same way we were living them three months ago. And here's the thing. Like, if I could just say, like, it's it's all about grace. You have to give yourself so much grace. Like, you're not mm. a bad parent because you weren't able to balance your life. Right. You know, it's it's every every day you have a new opportunity to, to do something that has a little bit more balance. And there's no such thing as perfection. So give yourself lots of grace. That's all. I, I mean, I feel like that's how we operate. Like, we're not perfect and we make a lot of mistakes, but... We don't ever, 
Yeah. I don't know. I like that. I think that that was super grounding and I want to say thank you. I'm being serious. No, I'm God, being serious. Okay, I know, I know, I know, no, no, no. I'm being serious. I love it. I'm being serious. You know what? I'm going to the... hold a mic. I'm going to walk around with a mic all day, every day. <laughs> and you're just going to say please and thank you because <laughs> I'm I being recorded. Because you're being recorded. <laughs> no, but this. I want to say that that's very important. That notion of grace as you are building a business and being a parent, like if that's the one thing that we're doing this podcast for is a reminder first and foremost for us, because I think that we can beat ourselves up at times. Oh, yeah. And then just realizing that every day my intention is to set an example for my daughter to show her what mm-hmm. it means. And I, I also will say that JD and I are in a unique position that Luna gets two parents with her continuously oh, yeah. throughout the day. We also have additional familial and structural support within the business to be able to do those things. Yep. So grace upon grace in all capacities yeah treat yourself the way you would tell a friend to treat themselves like anytime a friend ever asks me that kind of question that they're struggling with balance i look at them with so much empathy and say give yourself some grace i'm like why wouldn't we do that for ourselves but that's Mm. about yeah anyway that's true let's move on that's true i feel like i want to say treat yourself i I don't even know i don't even know why i want to say it i just feel like maybe we should get that like on a shirt it's like hey dad treat yourself and in the back it says with grace Hey. Is that a business idea or no? I wouldn't wear it, but hey, <laughs> I, I support you, girl. You go sell that thing. <laughs> You're rude. I would hoping you'd say you'd be the first person to buy it. You know, for Christmas. You know, you know me. For Christmas, you know me. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna give you the shirt. I'd be with Luna on Instagram. <laughs> For the, for the photo I just wouldn't like go to uh, hanging out with, with the boys with that that's shirt rather up. duplicitous and I'm let down like but by cri- you know what you're anything. getting for Christmas FYI right okay, okay. treat yourself sure treat yourself with grace with grace I gotcha <laughs> okay last question from Mark Bates what is one thing that you oh, love Mark about- I like Mark what's happening Mark the, see that's why all of these curators who ask these amazing questions like we all know you all by name see JD knows Mark um, what is the one thing that you love about each other that the outside world never gets to see or doesn't see that often. Ooh. I actually should have asked the One question yeah. like the way that Mark speaks because... <laughs> yeah, do that, do that, do it'll that. It'll buy you some time. I know. This is what I do. What is the one thing you love about each other that the other world doesn't get to see or doesn't get to see that often? And I would like to say thank you, Mark, for giving me my daily dose. I, I always have to speak in a British accent at least once a day or else I didn't live my best life. So, Jay, what is it? This is going to sound so cheesy, but I love how committed you are to, to, to us, to the business, but to us. And the business is part of us and our baby. And just, um, yeah, you just <laughs> hear, you know, if, I'm ever, if I ever feel like my day has been taxed or taxing, I just, you have this weird way of always making me feel like, there is no one else I'd rather do that with. Cause you just like, I don't know. It's, I feel like it's like you, you go for the, you, you know, you, it's like you go for the big guns, you, you bring out the big guns and like, you'll spend some quality time with me or you'll rub my head and then like give me a neck massage. And I'm like, this girl just, she gets it. She just gets it. So. I'm over here. I'm glad i uh, got a little gangster tears. You're just committed. If baby. you cry, the it. tear doesn't fall. Hey. That's a gangster tear. So that's, yeah, that's what the up. outside world sees. Jasmine, she's, she's a, she's, She's a bunch of putty, but in a good way. And I just love, she's just, she's, yeah. Commitment, Mark. That's for me. She's so committed. Uh, okay. How about you, Jay? Uh, uh, that wasn't an Ask JD. That's an Ask Jazz. Yeah. Um, the thing that I absolutely love, 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 love about JD that people oftentimes don't get to see is like his utmost dedication to Luna. Like mm-hmm. you, um, you always go out of your way. Like, I feel like whenever there are days that I, oh man. <laughs> I feel like <clears throat> I feel like whenever there are days that I feel like I'm not being the mom I want to be, like you just show up twice as much. Like some days, you know, I feel pretty stretched with all the stuff I have to do and you like pour double into her. So like at the end of the day when we have dinner together or if I put her down, you're like she saw you and she was here with you even though like you picked up a little bit more of the slack. And that means that means a lot. Oh. This is like I, therapy. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I think you I, love do, you. I feel I love like you. I, I'm gonna I, I, pay I, I, you. I don't know what to say. I, I, this is weird because in real life, I'd probably or this is real life, but I, <laughs> I give, I'd, I'd lean over and give you a hug and just you know say I love you. I mean, we could kiss on camera. <laughs> Okay, we're done because, friends, there you have it. Uh, We love sharing our lives with you. And thank you to all the curators who submitted these questions. If you like this insight into our personal lives, then let us know with an iTunes review. 
reviews let me and now JD since he's my co-host um it lets us know the content that you want to hear more of and if you could tell us things that maybe JD would want to come back in the future maybe I have to get down and beg again please don't make me do that if the audience will speak if the audience will speak maybe we can convince him to come back until next time thank you so much for tuning into the Jasmine Star Show today and don't forget you're welcome no <laughs> No, no, what, no. What? Treat yourself <laughs> with, with grace. grace. <laughs> yes. <laughs>